Hi there, my name is Sultana Muzakir of SultanaMuzakir.com. I'm a handmade business owner, designer, and maker who loves everything handmade. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a slip stitch. But before we get started, if you don't already subscribe to my channel, I invite you to subscribe and to hit that, ring that bell actually, so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so let's get started. Now, a slip stitch is considered a utility stitch and it's used for a lot of purposes. And it's one of the shortest crochet stitches and rarely used on its own to crochet fabric. But uh, you can use the slip stitch to join rounds when you're working in rounds, joining granny squares, and also when you're forming a ring. So right here I have started a circle and I'm going to show you how to connect the circle. This is the last stitch and this is the first stitch. So we're going to cut, connect it with a slip stitch. So you're going to take your crochet hook from the last stitch and put your crochet hook through the first stitch in the circle. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook. You're going to pull it through the first stitch and pull it through the last stitch. And that's your slip stitch. And you've joined your circle. And you can just pull your yarn through. And that's how you make a slip stitch to join a circle. Now another way, I have some a, about 10 chains here. I'm going to show you how you can make a slip stitch on a chain stitch. Now, um, you, I could say that you could use this stitch if you're making like a ribbing for a cuff or for a uh, ribbing on a hat. So I've made about 10 chains and then the second chain from the crochet hook, I'm going to insert my crochet hook, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, pull it through the chain, and pull it through the next stitch. That's your first slip stitch. And enter the crochet hook into the next chain, wrap yarn around the crochet hook, pull it through the chain, and pull it through the stitch. That's your second slip stitch. Take your crochet hook, put it into the next chain, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, pull it through the chain, and pull it through the last stitch that was on your crochet hook. That's the next slip stitch. Enter the crochet hook in the chain, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, pull it through the chain, and then pull it through the stitch that was on your crochet hook. Next slip stitch. Put the crochet hook through the next chain, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, pull it through the chain, and then pull it through the stitch that was on your crochet hook. And there's your next slip stitch here. Into the crochet hook through the next stitch, pull it through the chain, pull it through the stitches on your crochet hook. That's your next slip stitch. So you keep the same process going across. Put the crochet hook through the chain stitch, wrap the yarn around crochet hook, pull it through the chain, 
pull it through the stitches on your crochet hook and you continue across that way it's the last stitch put crochet hook through the chain wrap the yarn around the crochet hook pull it through that last stitch then pull it through the stitches on your crochet hook and there you have a row of slip stitches and slip stitches are very tight so that's why it would be really good if you want to make a cuff for a sweater or if you want to make a brim for a hat and I did um, make a large swatch where I just made slip stitches so you can see this swatch this is only slip stitches and what I did uh, so you can see the difference uh, the first row actually I made was a single crochet this is the single crochet down here the first stitch and then every stitch after that is a slip stitch and you see how tight the fabric is but you can kind of pull it and have some pull to it and you can see the rows when you pull it this way you see rows and it comes together tightly like that so this is how you make a slip stitch and I hope that this video was helpful for you and if you like this video please don't forget to click that like button and I will talk to you soon thank you for watching have a great day